So the Halo Infinite Fracture event has gone live entrenched, and so I wanted to go over what you can play, and some of it looks a little concerning, honestly, to be honest. And so let's just jump right into it, guys. So the multiplayer side of things, you're going to be playing entrenched players right here. And within the entrenched players, like we talked about in yesterday's video, according to the leaks, the leaks were true that you'll be playing land grab the entire time if you're trying to get your challenges completed to progress through the pass right here. I believe the limitation is still 10, and so it pretty much can be repeating the same kind of process as it had for Yoroi. But the thing is with this land grab mode, we only have four maps of Aquarius, Bazaar, Behemoth, and Catalyst. Surprise other maps aren't mixed in there as well, like something like Live Fire, for example. Uh, this could get repetitive kind of quick. Uh, we'll see maybe with like the new map of Catalyst kind of freshing things up a little bit for that. But I mean, that's going to be a little repetitive. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie with that. Uh, so let's check out the event pass here, guys. So the leaks were true on this one, the video that we covered previously on Monday. So if you guys want to catch that information when it goes live on the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, we'll go through the ballot pass here. If there's anything specific you want to check out, just pause the video. Uh, but the, the one thing I'm not really too keen on is that one, the first tier you unlock like a back plate, whatever you call it, don't really care. Second one tier you unlock a emblem for your Warhog, like specifically this emblem for your Warhog. And you see, unlock the same emblem like four times over, I believe throughout the entirety of the past, which is like, man, I wish it was a little bit cooler than that, you know, but it's a little bit, it's definitely filler, but at least it's like something better than just like channel swaps and XP boosts like we had last time. At level five is when you actually unlock your Eagle Strike Core. And the Eagle Strike Core, which does have some pretty good customization within the pass right here, I have a feeling it might fall in line with the same kind of issues that the Yoroi Fracture set had, where basically, all your customizations may earn through the battle event pass, right? But there's really not that much for you to really earn in game. A lot of it ended up having to go to the store for the Yoroi set when it came to additional customization because you get like an extra like two sets i believe of shoulder pads an extra set of knee pads and stuff like that and like two or three extra coatings you know and you got a chest piece right there which look kind of sweet not gonna lie a nice like old school water bottle and stuff but like that's it and i think like two helmets then you get to choose for all the free content again it is free content so you know it's meant to kind of boost up player base but i think it looks like you might have to be going to the store if you're really gonna want to get some new and unique customization for the eagle strike which i mean it's kind of like a double-edged sword right with a free-to-play game that's the kind of stuff that's going to happen so let's check out said store see what's available for us to check out so we have the legacy of war armor effect right here which kind of is like a exploding tar kind of effect to the whole thing I mean, it looks all right. I'm not super into it, but it's kind of a cool different effect if you guys are into it. 300 credits, not that much really. So that's actually a fair price I'd say for that. And we also have the Promethean Zephyr, or Zephyr, sorry, code coding right here, which has some really awesome stuff, but it also looks very familiar to the Rockstar coding that we had, which I have on my assault rifle. Uh, but we have like the Hydra right there looks pretty sweet. The sniper rifle looks awesome. We also have a coding for the shotgun, which I love that gold. Uh, barrel right there, or the uh, cartridge pack, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you can make you call it. I don't shoot guns. <laughs> I, play, I shoot them in video games, right? Uh, the rocket launcher looks pretty sweet. And then we also have a commando, which definitely needs a little help when it comes to the customization stuff. Battle rifle looks nice. You know, nothing too crazy right there. The assault rifle, if you've ever seen the Rockstar coding, looks very similar to this. And then we also have the sidekick as well. The shiny gold does look pretty nice though. I do like that. And then also for the Sky Marshall helmet right here, which is kind of a callback to the Rocketeer, which is kind of like an old, like, you know, 40s era comic, I believe, if I remember correctly. And we covered this previously on the channel in the previous video with all the leaked content. A lot of it became true, which is kind of crazy to think about. And so we got like at the helmet right there, you get the attachment piece, and also we have like a blue and gold coating, which I think we already have for the Mark 7, which is kind of interesting to see them just kind of replicate that same kind of coloring for like we have for like the Mark 7, but for the Eagle Strike coating, but for, but hey eh, man, whatever. Uh, let's check out the challenges. So like what kind of stuff are you gonna have to do to unlock your event pass? Because if you remember some of the challenges for the Yoroi set where it was to stop an enemy killing spree, like that's kind of stuff we had to deal with last time. Let's see what we had to deal with this time. So we spend seconds, you know, within a land grabs section, which is 15 seconds. That's very doable. Earn cumulative score within the land grab. That's literally just play the game. I'm all for that. Uh, you know, obviously my challenges will be different from yours because it's kind of like a big pool that they grab from here. I got another just play the game, kind of earn cumulative score, capture a zone, just need one of those. I think that's very doable. Uh, kill enemies within land grab as well. So these all seem very much more just like 
play the game kind of stuff. Like I'm not really seeing anything that's like too specific or too uh, annoying to try to go for really. Um, but we'll see what kind of stuff we'll keep scrolling through. Like, yeah, it's just like occupy zones, capture zones, kill enemies in this place and stuff like that. So it's very doable kinds of challenges for you guys to complete for this fracture event. And I will be streaming this event tonight on my Twitch channel, guys. Link in the description and pin comment down below. If you guys want to follow us over there, we have 5,000 people who just decided to follow the channel, which is amazing to hit that landmark. And I'm looking forward to see what we can progress forward with that platform. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me recently, check out these playlists right here. Got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.